What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Ron P's Music News Weekly. I'm your host with the most, your favorite hood anchor man, Ron P. Got a special guest. Got a couple special guests in the building with me today. Y'all might know who these guys are, but I got Via the Great in the building. Then I got a special guest behind me. Y'all might know who that is. That is Mr. Victor King. Appreciate y'all coming through. Appreciate oh, y'all. Thank you, too. Been a lot going on, bro. I've been wanting to touch bases with you and, you know what I'm saying, chop it up with you. I've been seeing you out there moving. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot that, you know, everybody want to know what's going on. you like the man in the myth right now. You know what I'm saying? So a couple questions I want to go ahead and get started, man. First and foremost, what you been working on, bro? What you been... Oh, man. You know, a little bit of everything, man. I got my hands in the pot. Um, you know, I'm writing, producing, you know, I'm singing, I'm rapping, um, I'm a and r -ing, um, you know, a little bit of everything, executive producing, um, doing sync music. Mm. You know, a lot of people don't know what that is. That's that's doing music and synchronizing music into films and the TV shows, um, um, video games, stuff like that. So you know, oh, you I mean? oh, you working, working? Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. Twenty four seven, man. It's a lifestyle, you know. You know what's going around on social media right now. You know it's been talk of a uh, a little a little special situation coming up with you, a little VH1 situation. Can you oh, yeah, yeah, can yeah, you talk yeah, about yeah. that? What's going oh, on with man, that? Man, we got it's it's actually it's super dope, man. Um, August 14th, um, uh, we got you know I got the song, you know the singles coming out on on Black Ink. Um, okay. It's actually the season premiere of um, Black Ink Compton. So it's the mm. first episode, just getting in there, and it's about the the main character. I ain't gonna say too much, you know, because I want I want people to go ahead and see it, you know, 8 p.m. Um, you know, August 14th. Um, but it's super dope, man. You know, Liz over there at VH1 showed love. You know, she really liked my music. She really liked the songs. Um, she ended up picking one, and um, it's there now. You know, um, it's, it's 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 dope though. You know, just grind it. You know, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up now. You because you've been doing music for how long you been doing the music? Oh man, pretty much all my life, you know. Um, I got a keyboard when I was like seven. My grandma she played organ, mm -hmm. um, and piano and sang in church and stuff like that. She got me a you know a keyboard when I was real young. Since then I was just playing you know different beats, creating chords with the piano and creating music from that. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you, you know not to cut you up, but that's a lot of people don't know about you that you actually make and produce your own music. Oh yeah, yeah, everything from scratch, you know. Um, right. The whole beat, the the engineering, the mixing, the mastering, the writing, uh, the vocalist, um, everything, man. All, everything from scratch, man, for sure. So what what made you wanted to even, you know, pursue music like full time? Like, and, and when did you know that that's what you wanted to do full time and like legitimately do it? Yeah, well, I mean, I grew up with, you know, my mom. You know, playing music around the house. She was she was a singer. Um, like I said, my grandma was a singer. Um, my cousin was in music. He actually had a deal with um, Ludacris. Um, you know, in in the early 2000s. Um, um, so like it was. You know, I was just you know around music my whole life. You know what I mean? So um, when I got that keyboard and I always I always danced. You know, I always I always try to be like you know Michael Jackson. You know, dance in front of the. You know, a lot of kids can relate to that. You know. Um, but I always wanted to be something real young, you know, I did choreographed dancing, um, you know, when I was four and five, I did tap, you know, tap dancing, I did uh, jazz dancing, you know, choreographing and stuff like that, uh, choreographed dancing, and um, so I was just, you know, revolved around music at all aspects of it, um, and really wanted to, you know, be something super young, you know what I mean? It didn't, it didn't get to... You know, I really, really wanted to take it serious and understand until I got into my teens, but I always was in music, you know. So being a part of all of these different cultural things, you know, tap and, you know, how has that, like, transferred into your music? Like, how, like, being a part of all of these things, like, helped you as an artist? Um... I think it just it, it, it really just made me limitless you know what I mean that's why like when you see me do music I do everything you know I do you know rap music I do hip-hop music I do pop music rock music I do Latin music Jamaican music which is the new single that's coming out turn me on um, um, is that I, the song that's gonna be on VH1 no that's actually a different song that's a single that we're putting out actually we've been writing with Cardi B's camp Jay Belvin's camp 
um, and came up with some really dope records. Um, um, but we were thinking about putting that one out as, as, as the single because it's so different and it, you know, it's lit, you know what I mean?